We have the senior hiking trip, which is May 18th at the Englewood Boat Basin on Henry Hudson Drive in Englewood Cliffs. It's at 2 p.m., but the rain date is June 19th. Your invitation is in your email from Mrs. Romano. And next we have Senior Tie-Dye Day, which is May 26th at the Cliffside Park High School driveway at 2 p.m. The rain date is May 27th. It's $5 a person and the money is due May 17th. You can bring a white shirt or anything else you would like to tie-dye. Check your email from Mrs. Romano. Prom will be held on June 28th at the Terrace in Primus, New Jersey. It will go from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. You need to pay $95 for your prom bid and you must pay class dues, which are $100 by June 1st. You must get COVID tested at the high school on June 24th. You will get a text message of your results. You cannot bring a guest from outside of Cliffside Park High School. Masks are required unless you're sitting at the table. You can have eight people per table and you get to choose who you're sitting with. Check your email from Ms. Romano for your prom invitation. Graduation will be June 21st at the high school football field. The time and amount of guests you could bring is still to be announced. Here are the steps after committing to college. For those who apply to college, May 1st was the final day to send colleges your decision. Now that you have made the deadline, you're probably wondering what's next. Here are some steps to follow after committing to your college. First, review your financial aid offers and make your decision to accept or decline. Second, decline offers of admission from other schools. Third, set up a college email account. Fourth, follow your college's socials. Fifth, ask the school to send your transcripts to your college. Sixth, sign up for your freshman orientation. And seventh, check if there are placement tests required. After you have completed these steps, you should be college ready. Good luck, everyone. The Super League was created after the owners of the biggest clubs in Europe decided to break away from the Champions League to create their own league. To help non-soccer fans understand, let's explain the whole concept behind the Champions League. In Europe, every country has a soccer league. The best teams from certain countries qualify for a tournament called the Champions League, where Europe's best teams go to compete and see which team is the best in all of Europe. Some soccer team owners have been upset recently for a number of reasons. Some because their team couldn't qualify for the Champions League, and others because they did not get the money they wanted to compete. So 12 teams, 6 from England, 3 from Italy, and 3 from Spain, were keen to make this league happen, with $4.8 in funding from J.P. Morgan. Florentino Perez, the owner of the soccer club Real Madrid, was the spokesperson for this project, claiming that this league would revive the currently dying sport and how fans want to see the big matches every other week. The reality of the situation was that this league would be the ultimate death of soccer, as it would be a pay-to-enter tournament. What about the less richer clubs who deserve to play European soccer but can't afford it? The owners of the Champions League, UEFA, also said that any player who were to play for the Super League would be banned from playing for their own country in the World Cup, which was, the, which was a huge blow. It was a long 48-hour standoff between the two. Fans were protesting the idea and even taking to their club stadiums to show their anger. After two days of the commencing of the Super League, Manchester City and Chelsea were the first ones to go, and the rest of the English clubs were soon to follow. This marked the end of the Super League. It's uh, one of my favorite events. Uh, ever. This will be our third time hosting the event, Mr. Aiello and I. Pretty much it is uh, teachers versus students. Uh, they will be lip syncing their favorite songs. Um, I've seen from choreography to amazing lights to pretending to play instruments like the students and the teachers really go all out. Uh, we would love all of you to participate. Uh, there will be two rounds. So in the first round, we need a set of freshmen sophomores, juniors, seniors, and some teachers. Then we vote with judges. We move on to the second round. And that then the winners of the first round will perform and then we have the final, uh, the final announcement of the winners. The first year we did it, I believe the freshman won. Uh, and last year, Mr. Aiello and I took the, uh, the crown for faculty. So it's a lot of fun. This year it'll be June 5th at four o'clock on the football field. An outdoor event, finally an event. We've been held back a lot by COVID. Uh, please come, it'll be a whole lot of fun or participate and email us if you wanna participate. We need performers from all grades. We need judges from all grades. So please email us, myself, tsalvatierra at cliffsidepark.edu or Mr. Aiello, S-I-L-O at cliffsidepark.edu. Hope to hear from you.